Shalom family. So, you know what? When I, and, and one of my pet peeves, let me just start there. One of my pet peeves is this whole euthanasia push all over the world. Yes, I understand it's part of the depopulation agenda and all those things, but it really grinds my gears. Um, when I was in the army many, many years ago, um, I did selection for special forces here in South Africa and I, I managed to get in. It was a very, very select amount of us that actually made it through selection. And I went into special forces training. It's a whole other story that I won't go into. But there's many incidents, there's many experiences I had with God as well. And there's many things I learned in that time in special forces training. But the one I want to just lean on today and share with you is in the training, at the height of the training, when it was most difficult, most other army units were, you know, qualifying, getting their berets, carrying on with life, everything was fine. We carried on for months, grueling, difficult, hardship and training like no other because we had to be the best of the best. So it was intense. And because of that, a lot of people, like quite a few, I can count on, on two hands, that attempted suicide at some point because of feeling hopeless and they can't do this or anything and fortunately in my opinion we always reacted fast we got the medics involved we got them sorted helped and they were saved in time but at one stage in the training and i'll never forget it because it left a mark on me we were all gathered together after an incident and our leadership came and he got us all into the hangar and he said to us right he's sick and tired of people wasting everybody's time and these attempts if you don't think you can make it or you're not good enough is irritating because it takes everybody's time and energy blah 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 and then he proceeded to remove his knife from his belt and explain in detail how to kill yourself by suicide to make sure that it's quick and to make sure no one can stop it or fix it before you've bled out. And that left an impression on me back then. I thought, yeah, that is just heartless. That's information I wish I never even received. It's horrifying. And now years later, sitting here and looking at the world around me, again, the world is pushing this everywhere. You feeling depressed? Suicide, assisted suicide. You don't have enough finances, assisted suicide. You're struggling with something, assisted suicide. You have a headache, assisted suicide. You're upset about something, assisted suicide. They're pushing it everywhere. And in more and more countries, they're legalizing the push. And doctors don't even bother trying to help you anymore or, or set, send you to someone to guide you or counsel you or improve you or get someone to talk to you. No, let's just help you die. And why is that? Because the leaders, the principalities, the powers, the new world order, the devil in the details that is behind these things is concerned about destroying mankind. Because by destroying as many people as he can, he feels he can hurt God the most. He wants everybody destroyed. He doesn't have favorites. The enemy hates you with a passion that we cannot fully grasp. And he has had thousands of years to practice different ways to do this and still convince people that they're on his side or working with him or special to him. As long as you're a human being created by God, you are on his hit list. And that is what the world, unfortunately, does not understand. His biggest desire is to get rid of you as quickly as possible and remove you from the equation. Know your enemy. God came to give us life. The devil wants to give you death. Good thing we have God. Reach out. And share the message of the truth and the gospel of Jesus Christ with as many as we can. 
before they accept this message of darkness and death from the enemy. Shalom.